Hey guys, the Creator 13 here, back again for another video, and today I'm going to be showing you 10 ways you can add life to your builds. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get on with the video. Alright, for starters we have number 1, interiors. Having any interior at all is usually a great thing for explorers, because it adds a sense of unknown to the build. So people can be like, oh, what's in here? Oh, can you unlock this door? Like that kind of thing. And it... It also adds a sense of an, a bigger sense of quality to the outside because you can look through the windows and see what's going on on the inside. Number two, texturing. Adding texture, even if it's not like as much as I'm doing in this gas station to make it feel run down, adds to the build and shows that it's been lived in. But for the most time, even texturing it a little bit adds, adds a lot. Number three, nature. Having nature such as these weeds or trees can enhance the reality of your build. A little overgrowth shows that, not, like, unless you want it to feel brand new, it shows that this has been here for a little bit. Like, even just, like, one little teensy bit of, like, grass poking up through the through a crack in the street. It, like, that, that really helps. Number four. Little details and clever techniques prove your skill as a builder, such as these frog spawn on an ashtray or candles as spray cans. People are always looking for something cool that you did. It adds a sense of a sense of like further further like effort into the build, I guess. Number five, we have vehicles. They make it seem like someone actually lives there instead of just being a model. Use creativity when it comes to these, such as like this rusted car in the back. It makes it feel like it not everybody has the same exact car, you know? Like different cars, SUVs, different colors, different like quality, I guess, like like different levels of rundown in this. Is that a word? I don't know. But yeah. Number six, random machinery and greebling. Add HVAC, freezer units, solar panels, and antennas. This this makes it feel like the building actually has a purpose and is trying to do something. For example, in, in the back of the gas station we have these freezer units and it adds a sense of purpose because it shows that the freezers are actually being powered by some something. Number seven, armor stands. I don't really need to explain this, but armor stands in different poses really add to the build. I'm using the mod actions and stuff. It should be coming to the marketplace pretty soon if it's not out already by the time this video is released. Um, but it, it makes armor stands look different and have different poses. If you're in Java Edition, use custom heads. They're the best thing you can add to your build. It's amazing. Number eight, interactivity. Doors you can open and toolboxes with things inside incentivizes explorers to go do things. Like inside this toolbox, each of the weapons is named a different thing, so it incentivizes people to go inside and actually like look for things instead of just being like, oh wow, that looks cool from the outside, you know? Number nine, scenes. Little interactions between armor stands, cars, or even still objects like this dumber dumpster smoking are amazing they show what the build is meant to do as well as a little personality from the builder as, as i've been saying this entire video it adds a sense of exploration and people wanting to go see things and lastly number 10 banners i'm not kidding banners are epic when it comes to letters and symbols this gas station wouldn't be nearly as good from the front without the sign and the prices the gradient effect also makes it feel run down which is amazing it also can be used for this tag graffiti on the side of the build. I was just kind of messing around, but it does look kind of like a G, um, so that's cool. But like, you can just make random squiggles and stuff like that. And yeah, I also made the lottery inside with banners, like where all of like the Powerball would be, like that kind of thing. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you thought about the video. I half scripted this video. I made a script as a loose guideline for how I'm going to say things. And then I use sentences from the script and that kind of thing. But, like, I also improvise a little bit. Um, so, yeah. And then let me know what you think about the lack of subtitles in the longer form videos in the comments. Uh... And yeah, so at, at 100 subs, I'm doing a face reveal. I'm at 97 at the time of recording this clip. So if you if we can get the three more subs up to 100, I know it's a lot less than most YouTubers ask for, but you know, if uh, if me saying like and subscribe at the beginning doesn't do anything, you know, whatever. Most people aren't really gonna watch till this far in the video, but whatever. If you if you've seen this this far back, comment East Dodge City in the in the comments.
So yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. It's been great. See ya.